Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem right away. We have square root of x plus x equals 2. Now the first step you're going to take is taking this to the other side, right? So we have square root of x as the subject and it will be equal to 2 minus x. Okay, and now the next thing is to take the square of both sides. This is to eliminate the square root. And this will be 2 minus x all squared, right? Okay, so this and this can cancel so that x will be equal to 2 minus x times 2 minus x. Okay, so x will be equal to 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times minus x is minus 2x. Minus x times 2 is minus 2x. And minus x times minus x is plus x um, squared. And then we can proceed. So that from here, x will be equal to 4 minus 4x plus x um, squared. Now, let's try to rearrange this. This is the same as x squared minus 4x. This is plus x, so it becomes minus x. And then 4 is here, which is plus 4. And the whole of this is equal to 0. Now, we have a quadratic equation, right? So that from here, we are going to have x squared minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. And now we can solve this. I want us to use um, the formula method to solve this. If you are going to use the formula, then our a will be 1, our b will be minus 5, and our C will be 4. Now, how did I get this A, B, C? A is a coefficient of X squared, which is 1. B is a coefficient of X, which is minus 5. And C is a constant, which is 4 over there. Now, what is the formula? The formula is this. X is equal to minus B positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a now let us substitute into this equation right away so x will be in place of minus b i'm going to have negative negative 5 because there is negative in the formula and then b itself is minus 5 which is here then plus or minus i have minus 5 in bracket squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 okay how did i get 4 times 1 times 4 a is 1 and c is 4 right so the whole of this is over 2 times 1 which is the same thing as 2 now let's take a step forward so that x will be equal to negative negative 5 is is um, positive 5 and then plus or minus we have square root 5 minus 5 squared is 25 and then minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16, right? And the whole of this is over 2. Now, x is equal to 5 plus or minus 25 minus 16 will give us 9, right? That will give us 9. And then we have everything over 2. Now let's continue. Our x will be equal to 5 
positive or negative, square root of 9 is 3. And this is over 2. Now, what does this mean? Let's continue from here. Okay, so this means x is equal to 5 plus 3 over 2 or 5 minus 3 over 2, right? And then meaning that x will be equal to, okay, x will be equal to 8 over 2 or x will be equal to 2 over 2. And then if we continue with this, x will be equal to 4 or x will be equal to 1. So we are having that x1 is equal to 4 and then x2 is equal to 1. Okay, so according to our working, this is the solution that, or these are the solutions that we have. But then, how sure are we that they will satisfy the equation? Let's go back to the original equation where we have square root of x plus x equals 2, right? Now, if we put in x1, which is 4, then we have square root of 4 plus um, x is now 4, right? This is what we have. And then if we continue from here, square root of 4 is 2 plus 4, and this will give us 6. And it is not 6 we have over here, so this means that x equals 4 does not satisfy the equation. Okay, so x, x equals 4 does not satisfy the given equation. Now, let's try one. The equation still remains square root of x plus x equals 2. Now, if we put 1 into the problem, then we are going to have um, square root of 1 plus 1. Now, square root of 1 is the same as 1 because 1 is a perfect square. And then we have 1 over here. So if you put this together, then you have 2, which is what we have over there. Now, this means that x is equal to 1 satisfies the, um, the equation. And as a matter of fact, it is the only solution that satisfies the equation, which is square root of x plus x equals 2. Thank you for watching. I'm grateful. Thanks a lot.